Hello, as you're watching this, you've probably been directed here from the link on eBay where I'm selling this Goblin Teas made. Uh, as you can see and probably hear, the clock works. Okay, this is an old, I think it's um, 1960s. I'll put in the details anyway, the exact details because I forget now. Uh, I think it's the model D25. Um, both of the lights work there we go so you got nice little night light there it seems to be flickering on the camera and that's probably just the way the images are set on the camera because from my eye level seeing it with the naked eye it's uh, not flickering at all the other side okay so you can hear so you can hear that the buzzer works so that's the alarm that wakes you up and also automatically puts the light on in the morning you can see the little goblin feature there um, sorry slightly distracted as the cat has just wandered in shouldn't be in the kitchen uh, so I'm going to pause it a second and I'm back sorry about that apologies um, unlike a lot of these models it actually comes with the original teapot there ceramic teapot built for the nozzle on the original kettle so that the nozzle drops in there now i've seen some of these on youtube where it's obvious what's happened that the video presenter doesn't seem to realize that at some stage this teapot's been smashed and it was replaced with a metal a standard metal teapot that you get at the cafeteria and they just drilled a hole in the top but now this this one i'm selling actually has the original teapot and you can see it uh, i have given it a clean but it probably do have a little bit more perhaps a bit of uh, chemicals inside because obviously for something it's age you get the age cracks in the glaze there's no chips that i can see anywhere on it but yeah it's as you'd imagine with an old teapot inside there's some staining from the tea which some tea experts say you should never try and get those out of a teapot that they add to the flavor of the tea but that's entirely up to the buyer of this I'll move that out of the way. What I will say that if I was keeping this to restore, I would definitely change the old cables. Let me turn this round. You can see that the paint has flaked off the probably years and years of a hot kettle there, because that's where the kettle sits. But this is a thing that, although it works, and I'll demonstrate it working, for safety reasons, you can see it needs it needs to have a new cable on there but I would assume anybody buying this is buying it to restore it fully that's a bit of that I cleaned this and it looked really good but it must have got some spilt on it um, some coffee I think by the look of that but anyway um, so yeah Oh yeah, it does say there, Model D25, Goblins Tees made at the top. There's the instructions on the back, because I've seen these with the back plate missing as well. Gives you the important information on the voltage, etc. Safety features, important notices, what not to do. Okay. And it's even got the old serial number on that. And something you don't see very often these days, made in the United Kingdom. Okay, so I'll just pause it a second and set it up. Oh, just before I do that, I'll just demonstrate how it works. Obviously, the weight of the kettle holds that down, and the fact that there's a teapot on there presses that button in, so that if either of one of those, the buzzer, the buzzer will go off. Okay, so my finger's now acting as if there's a full kettle and a teapot on there. And when the kettle empties and pours it into the tea, 
it should set it off. Pause. Okay, so now I've actually filled the kettle and it's set up and that's how it would look on the bedside table at night. You would set the alarm by turning that uh, wheel on the top. That click means that it's just about ready to start. Um, imagine if the hands are turned around, it's got to that point just like 10 minutes before um, it wants to set the alarm off. Right. Okay, so that should be set. Uh, should that be up? Okay, so in a few seconds that will have boiled and it works on being pressurized top. There's a little hole in the top that allows pressure out if it gets too pressurized to stop the kettle from exploding. Um, and it's best not to overfill the kettle because otherwise you will get water spurting out. Just about two thirds full I think is um, is about right. And you'll end up with a full teapot of tea and you'll still have some water left over in the kettle. Okay, so in a few seconds that should set off. I'll pause it. While I'm waiting for that to just boil, um, I thought I'd just mention um, there is normally a tray that comes with these, uh, but I couldn't uh, find that. This was my mother's, um, my late mother's, um, but uh, I couldn't find the tray that goes with it. But it'll fit on a standard size large tray anyway, or maybe you wouldn't want one at all anyway, but I'd, I'd recommend putting it on a plastic tray just in case there's any liquid spillage you don't want to ruin a bedside table um, assuming that you're going to use it some people are now just collect them anyway um, unless you I don't know if you know this but it's made out of Bakelite which is like an early form of plastic so it's not plastic it's Bakelite it looks as if the hands have got some sort of uh, luminescent sort of paint on there so that they glow at night but I haven't actually tested that out I don't know if you can hear but that that's actually boiling away now I'll just check and see if it's warm oh yeah that kettle's quite hot So yeah, that'll, that'll boil away and the water will be pressurised and go into the teapot. But I've told you that. It will need a little cleaning up. Now I did give it a clean up as I said, but in transporting it home, it looks like it's picked up a bit of dirt here and there. But yeah, it does, it needs a, yeah, everything everything I'm seeing, every mark I'm seeing as I'm touching it, it's coming off. So, I, if you check my feedback on eBay, I've made hundreds and hundreds of sales and I've got 100% good feedback. So I'm not out to cheat anybody. I wouldn't tell you that it's in A1 perfect condition. If it's not, I don't do that. Um, any marks on it, I try to make it perfectly clear um, but it looks to me like it would clean up very nicely paint obviously is a matter for yourself whether you want it in the original condition the what they call it the used used type condition or whether you want it uh, to try and restore it back as if it was brand new out of the box But uh, anyway, it's boiling away and it'll probably start filling that, uh, that up soon. I'll just pause it a sec, but hopefully catch it as it sets off the alarm. Okay, well, I don't think it's going to take long now, but I was just thinking about it. I did want to mention that sort of sound from the clock. 
you know that sort of jig 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 sound that's coming from an electrical clock. I do kind of miss that. It reminds me of when I had a clock like that. Um, you don't get that noise these days with digital alarm clocks and things like that. You don't get that. And I think that's a kind of night time noise that you hear as you're dropping off to sleep. I think it's a bit of background noise while you're sleeping. And actually, it's quite... I'm tempted to say soothing, but I don't think that's the right word. But maybe reassuring. You know, the kind of thing if you woke up in the middle of the night and then heard the clock go in, you just drop back off to sleep because it's a familiar sound and perhaps it's something in uh, evolutionary. I know when we've had, we had puppies when I was a kid and you'd put a, a ticking clock under their bed if they were young puppies so that it reminds them of their mother's heartbeat while they sleep and they'd, they'd sleep easier so maybe there's something deep down in the psyche but I just like the sound of that clock at night should be going any minute now when I cleaned this up that which was darker and it was just soap and water I used it and it seemed to take some of the colour out. So the top of that kettle is probably a baker light as well. You might you might want to put some kind of stain or something on that, but it didn't have the same effect on the handles. The handles, which I assume is made of a similar material, still stayed the original black. but the top didn't and there might be a little bit of a, a chip in there so maybe it's uh, some kind of old heat resistant type baker light that has suffered slightly through years of the heat but still serviceable still works still does the job but aesthetically you might want to darken that And the kettle as well, I gave it a good clean, but there's a few watermarks on there, but I can assure you, it will polish up and it will look good. But I can remember the tea's maids of the 1970s when I was young, and while they were good and of that time, and look, they do look good, they're of a certain era. And I think that the, these ones, the 1960s ones, have got a more, hmm, they wouldn't look out of place in 1930s, 1920s setting. They got that look about them. I could almost say slightly art deco, but I think that's perhaps going too far, but. It does look good. I'm just going to pause it a little second, I think. Okay, I have to turn it back on again quickly because I can hear there's this, the water coming through. So that's going to go off any second now because that's now making the tea. There we go. So that wakes you up in the morning, lets you know. Let's you know that the tea is made. Just knock the light off. So that should now be a pot of tea. And I'll just pause it while I get a cup. Back. Right, so I've got a cup. With a little bit of mashed potato on for some reason. Goodness me. I do apologise. Okay, so. This might go terribly wrong because holding a camera, trying to look through the camera while doing this. Okay. So obviously I didn't put any tea bag in there because I was just demonstrating. But you can probably see by the steam. There we go. And there'll be enough in there for two cups of tea. 
So there you go. There is one vintage classic style D25 working goblins teas made made in the UK and as you've seen still in working order still doing its job in all functions night light alarm clock night side clock tea maker the whole thing everything it was supposed to do it still does how many years on Oh, 60, 70, 80, 90, 30, 50 years on. Unless my maths is bad, which uh, seems to do things wrong when I'm on camera. Story of my life. Okay, so there you go. There's a working tease made. If you want to put in a bid, have a bid. Good luck. Bye-bye.